Hi, I'm Connor and this is Forge's Guide to Tramlines 2017. Every year, Tramlines transforms Sheffield into a beacon for partygoers of all music genres. But this year everything's changed. So even if you've been to Tramlines before, forget everything you've already known. Because the organisers have planned a completely different layout. But the one thing that remains the same throughout all of it is that they still have a completely awesome lineup. So let's go and take a look at the venues. This year there are three locations to remember, three parks for three stages. Ponderosa for the main stage, Encliff Park for the Folk Forest, and Devonshire Green in the city centre. Here we are in Ponderosa, where Tramlines holds the main stage every year and it never disappoints. This year will feature the rock and punk lineup of the Libertines and Primal Scream and the alternative electronic sounds of Metronomy. The world famous Scar Band, Toot and the Matils, will perform here also in order to get us grooving. The fabulous folk for us in Encliffe Park is going to be the most relaxing stage. Alongside performances from Kate LeBon, the Buffalo Skinners and Blaine Avon, you'll be able to see demonstrations and play games in order to learn about the cultural and natural heritage of Sheffield. It's bound to be a great time for everyone. The summer of 2017 marks the tram lines of reboots and revamps with the return of the famous Devonshire Green stage, featuring none other than grime legend Kano, the far side supported by our own Matic Mouth, and the hugely popular girl band All Saints. Next to Devonshire Green, you'll find Division Street, where you'll be able to get some food and drinks, because by this point, you'll need some fuel to keep you going. You'll soon realise pretty quickly that the three fantastic parks are at opposite sides of the city. But don't panic. The Busker's Bus, last seen in 2014, has been renamed the Hallam Shuttle, and it'll be taking you from one park to the other without ever stopping the party, because it'll be welcoming live bands on board. And this is just during the day. At night, the University of Sheffield Students' Union will turn into a giant rave for all the Tramlines after parties. The three main venues are the Octagon, Foundry and Fusion, where the famous Tuesday Club has been held for 18 years. The venues are only two minutes apart, so here and around campus you'll be able to see sets from Gerd Jansen, Nightmares on Wax, Kideco and Faithless. And last but not least, our beautiful Steel City is famous for birthing one of the most successful bands the UK has ever seen, the Arctic Monkeys. So make your way down to Yellow Arch Studios in Callum Island to see where they rehearsed and maybe got some of the inspiration for their debut album. The Yellow Arch Studios is also a renowned party warehouse and during Tramlands you'll be able to see Pioneer DJs, Two Bad Mice, Prince Fatty and many others. This was just a summary of the approaching festivities. For more information go to the Tramlines website at www.tramlines.org.uk forward slash lineup for a full list of the artists. The ninth edition of Tramlines seems more promising than ever, so if you haven't already bought your tickets, I wouldn't wait one more second. You'd be a fool to miss it.